All right, heat A, let's go. First up, we got Dutch Oven, the high-tech flamethrower with a capture arm. It's got a laser-centered combustion chamber, multiple valves for different flame styles, and it's looking to bring the covers over you and let it rip. Monkfish is next in heat A. This one's a really cool walking robot that has a nasty undercutter. It shuffles around the arena. It slices through TPU. It's definitely one to look out for. Rachel won with this robot in October and she has beat a lot of good robots. Rounding out heat A is Synthesis, the giant killer himself. Corey took this robot up against two Golden Brett winners, Lynx and Droopy, and defeated them at the same time time and you know he's got a bone to pick with monkfish who took him out in the finals of october that's right it's the booty haver himself the most decorated donk in all of fighting robots tommy wong's droopy this all weapon torque reaction walker has multiple golden dumpsters and golden bretts under his belt and he's looking to add the havoc all-stars champion to that mix brian boxel has always had his eye on the prize and that prize has almost always been calvin eba he gets his shot against mixtape with fireball his three pound vertical spinner with a gyro canceling flywheel Along with Tommy Wong, Calvin Iba is the only other person to win a Golden Brett in the three pound weight class, and he's in this heat as well with his meta shifting robot, Mixtape. This flamethrower is responsible for turning so many robots into puddles of goo that all of them now bring aluminum tape in their toolboxes to prevent the gooification. On the horizontal side, we have Caldera. Glenn and Caldera have been at nearly every single NHRL tournament, grinding and refining. And I think, I just think that this might be their tournament where all that grinding pays off. Representing Team Vertical in Heat C is Chainsaw Kitty. Kazaya is looking to send her opponent skyward with roof shot after roof shot. And as long as her exposed weapon motor holds up, I think she can do it. Finally in Heat C, representing Team Other, it's Hot Wings. This one's got a pair of articulated wings armed with white hot diesel glow plugs looking to melt, burn, penetrate, cauterize, I don't know, destroy their opponent. As unassuming as a robot named Chubby Unicorn can possibly be, Tim Hebert's vertical spinner is ranked number two in all of the three pound class. It's got a dual disc system and it's so stable and reliable. The little sand shovel that could is Robert Run's Crash Fest. Don't let its McDonald's color scheme and lack of spinning weapon throw you off. This one's a real fighter, able to upend its opponents and put them into positions from which they cannot recover. The only melty brain spinner in all of Havoc All-Stars is Project Liftoff. This one spins around in a circle ever so rapidly using an onboard computer to translate around the arena, whacking into their opponents. December 5th, 6th, and 7th, be there. I will.